Uh, we can completely like completely remove it. We can put it on maximum. It almost looks like it's like a static TV or something. We can also mess with the tint, as you can see. But that's you know you're not going to see anything if you put that up all the way. But you can choose the color as well. Like you can make it even black and white, like like this. It looks like of a uh, maybe like a like a World War. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to add epic film effects onto your clip. Now I know I've already done this in the past, but I want to make a really better upgraded version in 2017, so I can already see the comments you've done this before in the past, everything. I know guys, I'm aware of that, so... I would say with that being said, let's start off with the actual tutorial. And as you can see right now, I have a really nice uh, stock footage background-ish kind of beach clip. I'm going to add uh, some epic film effects onto, onto it. So what we're going to do first is we are going to uh, go to the video effects tab, as you can see right here. And we're going to go to and we're going to find uh, the F. And then we are going to also look for film effects, as you can see, this one. Then we're going to drag this one on top of our beach clip. And we are going to scroll through the presets. Now, presets are basically already um, like settings put in for you so you don't have to do it yourself. And we have some very cool ones. So check this out. We have a very old film. So if we play this back, as you can see, it really looks like it's like a beach in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, how you want to call that. So this is a really cool effect, guys. Instead of downloading all kinds of overlays and static thing and, you know, uh, doing this with keyframes, the black shaking, it's already in for you. It's freaking amazing. So we're going to move on to the next one. And that is uh, this one low quality color film so we're gonna pick this one and this already looks like a very uh, low quality color film like the preset says so that's a pretty cool one but if we go to the uh, fourth one the circa uh, 1908 so this was probably estimated in 1908 as you can see uh, this is how awesome it looks. Let me just put it on half so it's actually less laggy. But this is basically a kind of a 1908-ish uh, kind of clip uh, from that date because it's really shaking. The colors are really uh, like messed up. We have some static lines all around it. And let's go and to go to the bottom one, which is around 1980. That's around I would say almost 40 years ago. So as you can see, this is around 1980. So let's play again. Let's play it again. And those are a lot of awesome presets that you guys can use. So let's say that you want to make a throwback to whatever year that you want to go back in, in the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, the 60s, the 50s. You can also just, you know, put those film effects on top of your clip. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that this was in the video effects tab, like film effects, because most people would just go to YouTube and they would type in like uh, old film effect overlay and they would mess with it. But you can also mess around with the clip itself. As you can see, if you go back to the really old one, you can uh, like improve the improve the grain as you can see a lot. So it looks even more pixelated. Uh, we can completely like completely remove it. We can put it on maximum. It almost looks like it's like a static TV or something. We can also mess with the tint, as you can see. But that's you know you're not going to see anything if you put that up all the way. But you can choose the color as well. Like you can make it even black and white, like like this. It looks like of a uh, maybe like a like a World War. Uh, like clip from a beach or something and you can mess around with so many different things so those are some awesome film effects guys i hope this video was helpful to you if not make sure to leave me in the comments down below and i will be happy to have to help you out so make sure to smash the like button down below for more vegas 14 tutorials as always on monday and friday so that is it for this video and i will catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new evolving into a better youtuber episode as usual every saturday at 7 p.m. that is 10 a.m. PSD. So thank you and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Helfer.